Hey guys, what is up? So I'm going to take you through a breakout trade on SQ. Um, last week, the market was super strong. So this also helped this breakout trade. Um, but going off of just the stock itself on the daily chart, I think you'll see why I was interested in it for a breakout. Um, so quickly on the daily chart, what we have here is I can basically see a range right about here. Um, this looks like just like a fake breakout of it to me, kind of like a false breakdown. And then if I extend this area here, you know, price is memory. So once the stock is back in, you know, this sort of area over here, we're going to have some similar reactions or some sort of reactions to these levels, the top and, um, and top and bottom of this range. So, you know, this is another like uh, false breakout. And so I'm really interested in what's going on in here. And I've already put that level on here. So um, it is actually at... 115.50 so this is the level that i've drawn so this is the um the dotted line here on the daily chart so i like this as basically the top of the range and then this would basically be the bottom somewhere around here um <clears throat> so if you take a look at the most recent daily activity you can kind of see um here we have pretty steady volume it's kind of increasing to the top side um but it you know it's normal it's nothing like out of the norm and when you look at these candles on the daily um, you know, they're pretty normal too. They're basically wide bodied candles, um, no big uh, wicks to the top side like this, you know, wicks to the downside like this, um, just normal full body candles um, on regular old volume. So there's nothing weird about them. And this last one from yesterday, you can see that it's pushing up right into this level. Um, so I haven't seen a rejection on it yet. So what I really am thinking is we're probably going to break this level um, for a breakout of this range here um, and now if it does break out we would be looking for resistance to the top side um, you know maybe here oops somewhere around 120 right where it broke out and then held here that became support uh, broke out uh, became support and then lost it now you know we're testing the top here and it becomes resistance so um, I definitely like this level a lot and I like the candles um, on the daily chart so let's just like see how it plays out yeah all right let's do this um, okay, and we will hit go. Actually, let me switch this one to the five minute chart just so you can kind of see this. And I've got pivots on here that are probably unnecessary, right, for this one. So let's take those off. And alrighty, so we got five minute, we have two minute, and let's get to getting. So I wanna see if it does come up here, I wanna see how it reacts with this level. Um, right now we're dropping, but we're not dropping on super heavy volume, right? So if you look at this, you know, as we're dropping, you know, 5,000 shares are, you know, pretty much what's going through. And that's really not a ton of volume. So I'm not super concerned about it falling um, too far south, too far south of the equator. We'll just kind of see how it does. And then all of a sudden, we'll pause it here, you see big volume coming in, right? So we had barely any volume at the open as it's falling down. We see a bunch of volume come in over 150,000 shares. Um, and we're going to see how it reacts on this type of, type of volume. This volume could push it down further, right? So at that point, then, you know, our breakout definitely isn't going to be happening. But let's just see what happens here. And that volume is pushing it up. All right, so we're going to see how it reacts with the level. All right, so we see it break through the level. Uh, not a ton of volume coming through quite yet, but it's breaking through the level. So um, let's hit go. Actually, before I hit go again, um, how you can play this, there's a couple ways to play this, and I know we've talked about this before in breakout trades. So you can take it as it's breaking the level, as long as, you know, everything else looks solid to you, if the, you know, decent volume, um, it's not throwing, like, not pushing down too much while it's, while it's breaking through looking pretty strong um, and then what i use is the 10 percent of the atr for the stop so um, sq has an atr of like ten dollars so or nine some days um somewhere around there so we'll just say 10 um just to make it easy so 10 percent of ten dollars is one dollar so if you take an entry right at 115.50 you could put your stop at 114.50 and it would allow room for the stock to breathe before you then catch you know almost a full atr move um or close to it, right? So we would calculate that the ATR from the bottom here, which would be around 113.25. So 10 bucks from there would be around 123.25. Um, so even if you enter at 115.50, you're still catching up, you know, about an $8 move or so um, off of this. So with a $1 risk here, you could still um, risk 1R to get 8R if you if you held it to the top, the whole way to the top side. Um, <clears throat> 
All right, so we could enter now or we can wait a second. So I'm just gonna hit play. So you can enter. You can also um, wait just to see how much it pulls back, if it's gonna come back at all. So this one's trying here and it's not really pushing that much to the downside. So you could set a limit order here and hope to get filled. Um, or, you know, at it's pulling back on low volume, you could enter. And then of course your stop would be 10% of the ATR. So if I enter here at 115.83, my stop would be 114.83. So I'm just gonna hit play. I'm gonna buy here. My stop is 114.83. And it doesn't even it doesn't even test it. So now we're breaking out, right? So we had those nice full body candles on the daily. Um, and once we get to that level, we break right through it on this volume right here, right? So um, on this candle, nice full body candle, you know, really good volume. We break through this level, and now we're just cooking with gas. So now we're just moving, and now you're looking for places to partial. Um, so I would be looking for, you know, I would like to see. Um, if it continues to stay strong, to, uh, you know, a full ATR move would be nice. So like I said, we take it from the low of the day around 113.25 ish to the high of the day, which would then hopefully be 123 ish. Um, <clears throat> but you can partially before that, right? So 120 is probably a decent level. Um, you know, it's a decade, a decade level. So, you know, I would be looking to probably take some, uh, some off around 120. So we'll just go ahead and sell and you can see some volume coming in. A lot of people are probably thinking the same thing. Um, so we'll just kind of let it play out. And then we'll just speed this up a little bit. All right, so now we're at 123. Look at that. So I partialed here, kind of chopped around a little bit. Now we're at a full ATR on the day. I'm just going to get all out here. Um, you know, and it might keep going. Who knows? Uh, we can just see how it played out for the rest of the day. So it did, it did go a little bit further, you know, if you wanted to, you could have, you know, kept, you know, 10%, 20% of your position after the full ATR, you know, once the stocks moved an ATR, it, we're never quite sure if it's how much past that it's going to go. So I like to exit most of my position at a full ATR, um, unless something crazy is happening with a stock or there's like a crazy catalyst or something, right? So, um, you could hold a little bit more for it, or you could just, you know, get out, free up some time, maximize your return, um, and get on with your life. So, Hopefully um, you enjoyed that little breakout trade on SQ. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or uh, shoot me an email at megan at bearabletraders.com. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.